What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel and welcome to some Forza Horizon 4 back again with the context of Yesco and uh, yeah as you can see by the title and the uh, the thumbnail this is what I'm going to be doing in today's video. Now, if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoy the content, of course, please subscribe. I have a brand new goal for the end of 2021. Of course, last year's goal was actually to hit 200,000 subscribers, which was mad because I ended up doing it very, very easy. We even aimed for 250 before the end of the year, which is insane. This year, big goal, right? Big, big goal. 400,000 subscribers. Four, right? That's a lot of people to subscribe to the channel. So yeah, if you guys would like to see more content on the channel, you enjoy the stuff, I guess subscribe. And also, if you guys want to see me laugh, like I just did, right before this intro, at that Among Us clip, uh, I did upload a brand new video to my second channel. I re definitely recommend you guys go ahead and subscribe to that channel as well. I've tried to get a lot more subs and a lot more views over on that channel because it is uh, there's some really, really good content over there. So like I said, if you guys want to subscribe to that channel and have a look and see what's there, um, then please check it out down in the description below. Of course, along with all the rest of the stuff, like the subreddit, the, uh, you know, all my links to my social media accounts, they're all over there. Oi! They're all over there with, uh, with the rest of the stuff. But yeah, anyway, let's just get back to the video. Also, Happy New Year to everyone. I know I didn't upload a video uh, the other day, but Happy New Year. Uh, I really hope you guys have had a good, uh, you know, New Year's, I guess. But uh, yeah, let's get back to uh, this Conex of Yes, going to try to slide it. Now, with this car being released, as you guys have seen, I um, I ended up building this thing the other day when uh, when it came out, and I sort of made it, you know, go really fast in a straight line. However, the incredibly smart people over at Playground Games decided to give this car underpower to us. So basically, it only makes, I think, 1200 horsepower or something like that. It doesn't actually make the full 1600 horsepower until you actually upgrade the car. Which makes absolutely no sense to me at all. So they need to change that. They need to do something. Um, but what I'm going to do in today's video is drift it because there's been a lot of people disappointed in the previous of my previous in, my, in the previous of my previous in my previous video. Pretty much like disappointed. There's been a bunch of people disappointed in my previous video. I don't know what happened to me. I just, I feel I feel like I just had a stroke there. Um, but yeah, like I said, a bunch of people disappointed that I haven't actually tried to drift this thing. Yet, um, so that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. It's not drift suspension. It definitely doesn't have any sort of good suspension to help me with drifting now because it's completely stock. It is fully rear wheel drive though, as you can see. It spins those rear wheels, even at six. It, it actually has nine gears. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, this is completely stock now. Underpowered. Technically, because it doesn't have the full amount of horsepower that the car should have. Because course to decide to troll us even more not only releasing this thing in the winter but also releasing it with less power than it's actually supposed to have which I don't know how that works but yeah obviously as you can see I am I am sliding this thing but obviously I'm not giving it a lot of angle because I can spin this thing out very very easily so I'm just technically just oversteering slightly with it or if I am if you want to call this drifting, I am keeping it at such a low angle that I'm barely getting any points, first of all. I don't really care about the points, to be honest. I'm just, like, trying to see if I can slide it. And it's okay. It's, it's still... Oh, okay. It's still an okay job until I until I spit out. It's hard. It's hard to catch it again once it's, uh, once it's gone past that specific point. Because, again, it doesn't have the steering angle. It doesn't have... It doesn't have a drift suspension on it. So yeah, that is pretty much what we're working with here. Uh, <laughs> let's bring it over to the festival. Uh, we'll modify this thing, hopefully get it to be a little bit better at drifting. Because that's that's our goal here. Um, yeah, I'm also going to give it the full amount of power. Like, there's no point of even me just, like, using this thing um, like that. Um, okay, technically... What I should be doing here is turning this thing into all-wheel drive because if I keep it rear-wheel drive, I'm just going to have the same problem over and over again. Um, I will change it so it has rally springs and, uh, and dampers because I think at that point I will have slightly more steering angle. Um, but uh, other than that, I don't know exactly um, 
what else I should be doing with this thing. It's got... I can put drag tires on it. Should I put, I'll put drag tires on it. Why not? We get the stick to be actually really, really fast sideways. Um, should, I, should I give it the, the maximum width tires? I mean, it's already stupid wide at 325s. Especially on the rear. What, what were you on the front? 265 in the front. I'll do I'll do slightly wider on the front. I'll do I'll do 295s in the front. I'll keep the rears the way they are. Um, also bring the track width out a little bit here. Uh, as for our wheels, again, I really like these standard wheels. I don't really want to change them, to be completely honest. I don't think we get any sort of weight reduction, because I think the wheels are already made out of like carbon fibers, so they're all, already very, very light. I don't think we'll be able to do anything there. So I'll leave that the way it is. Um, transmission, I've changed that. Uh, brakes and suspension, I've changed that. So all I need to do now is literally just give this thing um, this. But again, it is only rear-wheel drive now. I'm going to go ahead and change this to all-wheel drive. I don't know why I didn't do that first before I changed my transmission. Because obviously now I have to do it again. Plus, I have all the clutch and all this stuff now to add, this, to, add to this car. Okay, we'll do that. Especially with the diff. The diff is going to help us a lot. That is fine. And then give it the twin turbos, quote unquote, because this is what it should be at. 1,600 horsepower, weighs 1,323 kilos. You guys have seen all these stats in the other day's video. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. It's it's done. We I've built my drift car. <laughs> um, I need to. Um, I need to. I definitely need to mess with my suspension, with my transmission. Actually, my transmission I think was fine. Uh, the last time I was driving it, I have no idea what my suspension should be like on this thing. Um, I will, uh, I'll have to make this, it's, it's actually already soft-ish. I'll make it so it's obviously, uh, more rear biased. I could even turn this thing into, like, a full 50-50. Uh, should I do it? Should I just, I'm gonna mess with it like this. I just wanna see what it's like. If I just do a 50-50, uh, front to rear, um, <laughs> torque distribution, what, what is this thing gonna slide like? This is a drag tires, right? So once, only once it's sideways, it should slide. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so weird at 50-50 because the front is eventually going to pull me into a straight line here. Okay. <laughs> I think the only way I could do this is if I if I fully mess up my, my toe and camber here. And once I fully mess up my toe and camber, I think this should stay sideways all the time. But if I keep it like this, the way it's now... I won't have... It's, yeah, it's eventually gonna pull me back in a straight line again if I don't... If I don't force it again. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to go... <laughs> Alright, everyone. Uh, let's try this again. And hopefully it's a lot better this time. So, with the tune, what I've done is I've completely messed up everything on it. So, hopefully it should work. <laughs> by that, I mean I have changed my toe by a lot, just so I can sort of counteract the reason, that, or not the reason, but like the, the way that I don't have um, extra steering angle with my drift suspension, obviously, that this doesn't have. Um, so what I've tried to do is mess with my toe and camber. It's still really, really difficult to catch. If I throw this thing a little bit too hard, it's just gone. There's no chance of me catching it. Because the steering angle on this thing is bomb. It's really, really bad. It's really, really, really bad. Again, it's not made to have stupid steering angle. But I'm doing my best trying to control this thing. Also, my gear issues. I don't know why I made them longer the first time. I shouldn't have. Somehow, I am still sliding this thing. Somehow. I think with the build right now, it's it's a lot easier to control than it was before. Again, once I push it a little bit too far, I'm not going to be able to catch this. What I mean by that is, like, obviously, if I... Oh, my God. If I go too much... If I steer into the corner too much, if I have too much angle, obviously, I won't be able to catch it because... No drift suspension, no extra steering angle. But it is all-wheel drive now. And like I said, I have changed some bits and pieces on the suspension so this thing can pull off some okay some okay slides here 462,000 points I've also changed this to sim steering because I think on standard steering I, I, will, I would have struggled a lot with this thing it's so hard to drift but 
since a lot of people were disappointed that I didn't drift it in my previous video, I thought I'd try it in this video. And it's it's really hard to drift. <laughs> it's really hard. To, okay, it's not hard to drift. It's hard to drift well. It's hard to drift well. That is uh, that is my gripe with this car. Obviously, it's a car that's a yesco. It is a car that's literally supposed to be to be stupid fast in a straight line, but also really really fast around corners because this is technically made to be able to handle corners very very well. So obviously, we'll see what that's like. Once we get into the spring season, and I'll try to do some PR stunts with it. But for right now, this is the Koenigsegg Yesco with a very sketchy all-wheel drive drift tune that doesn't really drift very well. But yeah, it, it sort of works. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. So if you guys enjoyed today's video and you want to see more videos like this on the channel, of course, feel free to subscribe. Links to social medias are down below as well. Uh, other stuff like Twitter and Instagram and even my subreddit, which I definitely think you guys should become a, a part of because it is crazy in there. And of course the second channel where I've uploaded my new video again. That'll be there in the description. But that's it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next video where we'll end up doing something stupid as usual like, uh, like this on the channel.